In section 13.1, part two, we are exploring cylinders, traces, and more exploration of surfaces. So I want you to note that in space or in three dimensions, the word cylinder takes on a more general meaning than what we know from R2. So here we go. We say that a cylinder in three dimensions is a surface parallel to the coordinate axis whose variable is missing from the given equation or function. So to get us started, let's look at a general definition. Now here we want to let C be some curve in the plane, and we want to let L be a line that's not in the same plane as the curve C. Now, a cylinder in space is the set of all lines parallel to L and passing through the curve C. It is the set of all lines parallel to L and passing through the curve C. So let's think of an arbitrary illustration. And we can say here is some curve C. And we'll say over here is our line L. So how do we establish what the cylinder is going to look like using this? So based off of where the curve is, we want to begin by drawing what we call a trace on either side. So in other words, this is a parallel copy of the curve C. So we are drawing traces on either side of our curve C. And now to really visualize our surface, we want to go ahead and draw lines parallel to L all over the surface. So here we go. So drawing infinitely many lines here, we can start to visualize what our surface is going to look like. And of course, there are, again, infinitely many lines here. So eventually, this whole region is filled in. So here is our cylinder. And let's make a couple of little notes here before we continue. I want you to note that the curve C is what generates the cylinder itself. So we say that the curve C generates the cylinder. And we also have that the lines parallel to L passing through the curve C are what generates the surface. So all of the lines parallel to L passing through the curve C are what create the surface. So the curve generates the cylinder while the lines passing through the curve C create the surface itself. And one final love note here before we go ahead and look at some examples is I want you to again make note of our line L here. So did you notice how this line L is parallel to the x-axis? So what this is telling us is that the cylinder is also parallel to the x-axis here. And again, in general, we say that a cylinder in three dimensions is parallel to the coordinate axis whose variable is missing from the given equation or function. So our cylinder here is missing the variable x. So let's go ahead now and look at some examples.